Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, you guys, I am trying out the Powder Universal Libre from Chanel. I am in shade 70. I have hauled this powder already for you guys, but today I'm actually putting this powder to work. So if you'd like to see this Chanel powder in action, then keep watching. So to get started with my complexion, I am going to be using the Cogen Du Aqua Foundation. I'm in the shade 301. So I've already got my concealer. I've already done my contouring as well. Just getting into the major part of my complexion right now because I am anxious to see what this Chanel powder is going to look like on top of this. All right, I think we, I think I've got everything else done. Eyes are done, concealer is done, contouring is done, foundation is done. Um, and I am going to set my under eye and then I'm going to use my Chanel powder. So let's get into setting these under eyes. I'm going to set my under eyes using the Hourglass Veil Powder. It's been a while since I pulled this out, so I'm gonna use this today. This is a really pretty under eye setting powder. It works well on my complexion for setting under the eye. It's really pretty. Taking a little bit down the bridge of the nose and all the areas where I've highlighted, I think is where I'm gonna put just a little bit of this powder. Not much, just a little bit. But that's really, really pretty. And now I'm gonna use the Chanel Powder Universal Libre. This is what the outer packaging looks like. I'm in the shade 70. This is the actual package container. So, so posh, so luxury. This is what the actual shade looks like, if you can see that there. So I'm just going to shake a little bit out. Let me see if you can see that. And I'm gonna use my big fluffy brush here. And this is very finely milled. You can just see it kind of just, just kind of poofing in the air. And I'm just going to dab this into my foundation. Some people like to buff their setting powder in, and I guess it just depends on what you like best. Uh, the only area that I normally tend to buff is right in here. It's right in there. But everywhere else, I kind of tend to push it in with my brush. This is really pretty. I was worried that it may be a little bit too dark, but 
the shade selection I think that I've made is okay. Okay, um, this is looking really nice. You can still see my highlighter there. You can still see that. Um, so that's looking really nice. Not too overpowering. This powder feels really light on my skin. I like that. It doesn't make me look cakey. You guys have heard me say this before. I also think the fact that I apply my concealer and other complexion products first and then put the foundation on top helps for my complexion not to look too cakey because I've already done all the correcting that I need to do first, right? I do that first before I apply the foundation. So it means I'm using less foundation. So this is looking really, really nice. Really nice. All right, you guys, let's talk about it. This powder is gorgeous okay it is gorgeous i'm so happy because now that means i've got two new powders that i've just added into my collection and i'm loving both of them at the same time but this powder is really really pretty you guys it gives me a matte finish but it's not drying on my skin it gives me just enough just enough of that kissed by the sun type look right it is gorgeous it is very finely milled i am so glad that i'm adding this to my collection and now that I've got the Chanel powder, I am tempted, so, so tempted to try one of those Chanel foundations. But I've got so many foundations already that I'm trying to work my way through. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then I also think I saw where Chanel also has their holiday collection available now. I was watching another content creator and she was trying out the highlighter and it looked to be really, really pretty. So I don't know, I may pick that up as well. I'm not sure just yet, but this powder is definitely a winner for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.